Hello everyone, today we are going to do an arithmetic progression question and this progression contains 20 terms. Now in regular arithmetic progression questions, the first term which is given by A is given to you or N or D is given to you. However, this question is not that straightforward but what we can do is to make use of the information given over here. So let's express the general term first, UN is equals to A plus N minus 1 D. Now the eighth term is 25. Now this means that U8 is equals to A plus N minus 1 which is 7 D and it is equals to 25 where A and D represents the first term and the common difference respectively. This means that A is equals to 25 minus 7 D. Let's put this over here and hopefully we could make use of this information at a later stage. Now the question also mentioned that the sum of the last eight terms is 404. Now many students make the mistake of writing the sum of the first eight terms which is equal to 404 and this is not correct because the sum of the first n terms formula denotes the sum of the first to the nth term in an ascending order and the sum of the last eight terms is actually the sum of the first 20 terms minus away the sum of the first 12 terms. So let's express it as an equation over here. The sum of 20 minus the sum of 12 terms, the first 12 terms rather, is equals to 404. Now let's bring up the formula of the sum of the first n terms, which is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. All we need to do is to substitute 20 and 12 into the expression over here, which is 20 over 2, 2a plus 19d minus 12 over 2, 2a plus 11d is equals to 404. Now the next step intuitively is to simplify this equation to give us 10, 2a plus 19d minus 6, 2a plus 11d equals to 404. We can then simplify it further to give us 20a plus 190d minus 12a minus 66d equals to 404. Now simplifying this equation further, we will then have 2a plus 31d equals to 101. Now the idea over here is to find the values of a and d respectively so that we can answer to the question. Now let's substitute the equation 1 into equation number 2 over here. This will give us 2, 25 minus 7d plus 31d equals to 101. Now the next thing to do is to find the value of d. By simplifying further, we will have 50 minus 14d plus 31d equals to 101. 17d is equals to 51, which is a very nice number because d will give us a value of 3. Now all we need to do is to substitute 3 into the equation number 1 and a is equals to 25 minus 21 which is equals to 4. Now many students make a common mistake of just stopping over here but let's try to always answer to the question which is to find the sum of the first 8 terms. Now this will be denoted by S8 which is equals to 8 over 2, 2 times 4 plus 7 times 3 and this will give us 4 8 plus 21 and our final value will be 116. Now I do hope you have learned something from this video. Don't get discouraged if you couldn't get it the first time. Always keep practicing and believing in yourself.